Whether you pick a hardtop convertible or simply settle for the coupe was always going to be one of the common questions many people would ask before getting their C8 Corvette. While there are surely a few telling differences between both options, it really just depends on what you want and how much you're willing to let go to get an extra option. Over the years, the hardtop convertible has always been the top option for many buyers, or let's just say it's among the most purchased options. But the real question is, what really makes the convertible that much of a choice and why should you be getting it over the coupe? In today's video, we'll be looking at exactly that as we'll point out some factors that differentiate both options. Stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, well, this is Lavish Luxury. And if you've not already taken the action, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and let's get you going with some of the best luxury and finance content you can think of. Now, let's head back to what we have for you today. Number one, price. This, of course, has to come first in any comparison that you'll be drawing between the coupe and the convertible, because if you're getting the hard top drop down option in the convertible, then you'll have to pay more than you'd pay for the coupe. Looking at the MSRP for both cars, you'll find out that the price for the base coupe is actually around $62,100 while you'll have to pay around $69,600 for the convertible option. In terms of cost, that means you'd be spending some extra $7,500 just to get the convertible option. Make whatever you want of that, but it surely means that you'll have to pay more. And well, $7,500 is a lot of money. If you look at some of the other options, like the Z51 package, which comes a little lesser, it becomes a tricky choice when you take a look at the next point. Number two, T-top or drop-top options. Now, the thing about all C8 convertibles is that they have a T-top roof that is detachable, unless you've got the convertible, of course. This means that on the C8 Corvette Coupe, you can absolutely make yourself a convertible option from it, even though it would still be a long shot from it, though it'd be somewhat close. The thing, though, is that while you'll have to go through a couple of minutes trying to remove the top of the coupe just to get that convertible feel, you can simply tap a button in the convertible, and voila, the top goes away in a smooth fashion. You can even do it while you're driving or moving at fast speed. However, you'll need to park your car, start the removal process, and then get back into your car before you have the T-top removed in the coupe. Surely that can mean something. Number three, extra trunk space. Whether it's a coupe or hardtop convertible, the C8 Corvette comes with a small trunk space that can only contain just a couple of things. In the convertible, you'll still have your available trunk space to put whatever you might want to put in there. However, with the coupe, the trunk space is taken up by the T-top roof when it's removed. While the hardtop drop-top option is a full-on convertible and has a process through which the hardtop can smoothly get into place to have a detached roof, the coupe needs you to remove the top manually, and when you're done removing it, it goes straight into the trunk. And when that happens, there's literally no space to put in another thing, except maybe the smallest of things. If you like that open-air feeling and would like to take your Corvette for traveling, then the convertible option is the catch here. Number four, engine and rear view camera mirror. Now, this is not a look at whether they have different engines or not, but a look at the visibility of the engine. In the coupe, the engine is very visible on the back just before the trunk. However, the same is not the case in the convertible as it is covered with plastic, and you don't really know what's going on down there. While this point speaks advantage coupe, it is also worth pointing out on the convertible all the packages. 1LT, 2LT, and 3LT come with the rear view camera, while on the coupe, you'll only find it on the 2LT and 3LT packages only. Number five, similarity in design. Well, if the convertible is not being a convertible and the hard top is not open, it really just looks like a coupe. And while the colors you pick might actually determine whether it looks like a convertible or not, there is just so much similarity, and you probably can't tell which is which unless you tap the convertible button and allow the hard top to open up smoothly. It's also worth mentioning that if you detach the T-top roof of your coupe, it doesn't exactly represent a convertible. It only gives you that feel, really. Looking at all these points, and it really just comes down to whether you'd be willing to pay the extra $7,500 to have the convertible. It certainly is worth it if you consider the benefits of extra trunk space for if you're traveling, and also the single tap button to get your roof to open up. If you ask us, we're definitely on Team Convertible. What team are you on, and why? Do you also feel the convertible has enough to be worth the extra $7,500? Kindly respond in the comments section. Also, don't forget to like the video, and subscribe to the channel as well as turn on the notification bell button. See you in the next video.